And we back. Ladies and gentlemen, my goal is to create a 99 overall player, but I only have $15. These are low-key some of my favorite videos where I get to pick and choose attributes from different players to create a super player, like we do with a bunch on this channel, because I absolutely love it. Now, this video idea originally comes from somebody over on TikTok. So if you, you browse through TikTok and you see a video you want to see me do, hit a brother up. And it's from the Banter Broadcast. They got a following over on TikTok and here on Twitter. I'll put the links to both in the description. Shout out to them because they created this graphic and I think it's fire. 99 overall challenge build a 99 overall with just $15 you got frame which is like how tall you are your position and your do I need to explain it I don't think I do then you got shooting finishing defense and playmaking and they attributed different dollars to different players and you know me I can't just have one so I created I created three players y'all well technically I didn't spend no money because it's a YouTube video either way I have three different players we put them into a draft class and we're gonna see who has the better career or the better five-year stretch depending on how it goes so yeah let me introduce you to the players that I created so I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how much does frame actually matter in the game of 2k does Giannis immediately have an advantage over a guard when you're simulating games Remember, we're making a 2K video. This is not real life. This is real life. I understand the frame of Giannis matters, but in 2K, I don't really think it does. So I use that as one of my budget places for all three players. Player number one, I took $2 for Cade Cunningham's frame. He's 6'6", like 210 pounds. He's like a shooting guard, point guard mode. I think that's a pretty good size for somebody that could come in and score a bunch of buckets, play, make, play defense. That gives him the ability to basically guard point guards, through like small fours depending on which defensive player we pick i like a guy that could score the ball so with shooting i picked the greatest shooter of all time that's seven dollars spent already then we get to our finishing we got some good people here for finishing we got Kerry Irvin, who everybody knows the wizard at the rim. We got John Moran, who can go over you, under you, through you. It don't matter. John Moran does that. And then the guy that I picked for this first player was Wiggins, because Wiggins is low-key kind of nice when it comes to finishing. Actually, not really low-key. He's got two of the best dunks of this current playoffs. You know he can dunk the ball pretty crazily. The biggest hole in his finishing is that he doesn't draw fouls. Like, his draw foul thing is at, like, 60 or something. But he can he can dunk on you. He can lay around you. So I picked Wiggins at $3. So if you're keeping up, that's ten dollars spent defense we got some really good options the thing that surprised me is that Colin Sexton's here at two dollars and you know what I kind of cheated a little bit I went to go look at statistics of these players before I decided to pick Colin Sexton's defensive stats ain't that much better than than Jose Alvarado and if I'm going budget I got the 6'6 player and Jose Alvarado's build on 2k literally says perimeter lockdown I'm taking that for one dollar which leaves us four dollars for playmaking so i'm taking lamello ball when we create these players we're taking the attributes we're taking the tendencies and we're taking the badges and jose alvarado got zero defensive badges kind of suck i don't know how he can have zero defensive badges like he needs to have at least menace or he needs pickpocketer or he you know he needs something but in this game he's got nothing but lamello ball has like 18 playmaking badges so Recap for player number one, K. Cunningham's frame, the shooting of Steph Curry, the finishing of Wiggins, the defense of Jose Alvarado, and the playmaking of LaMelo Ball. That's player number one in his name is Ed Primo. I put Primo because if I'm not mistaken, Primo means first. So I will never forget that this is the first player we created. So player number two is a bunch of budget, all right? A bunch of budget that I think can make some noise. I picked the number one dollar frame, which is Tyrese Halliburton. Now, Reese is like 6'5", like 120 pounds. Like, he's he's about as skinny as I am, but tall. You feel me? But, again, I don't know how much that matters in 2K. So, if it's only one dollar, I'm going to save my cash and pick Tyrese Halliburton for one dollar. Next, I already picked Steph Curry shooting on another player. So, I'm looking at my other options. I got Book. I got Zach Levine. I got, I got Tyler Hero. I'm not picking De'Aaron Fox. If you're picking De'Aaron Fox, you might as well just put it at zero. You feel me? Might as well save that dollar and throw it somewhere else. Because De'Aaron Fox, we know he's not a shooter. He can do a lot of stuff, but we know he's not a shooter. Shout out to the homie. I decided to go with Tyler Hero. Now, I was fighting myself between Tyler Hero and Zach Levine. But if you look at their stats at 2K, Tyler Hero has better shooting stats than Zach Levine in the game. So why would I spend the extra dollar? Because Zach Levine is the boy? No, I'm taking the budget and that is Tyler Hero. So you can see, we got two out of our five for things done. And we only spent $3. We balled on the budget. Until we get to our finishing, where I went with Ja Morant. I don't need to explain to you why Ja Morant is that boy when it comes to finishing. That was about as easy as can get. Next, remember, I, I had the idea of trying to build a 99 overall at this point. And I decided to go with Kawhi Leonard's defense because there's nothing that can compare to Kawhi Leonard's defense. And then lastly, if my mathematics is right, 
That means we have $3 and I'm taking DeJounte Murray with the playmaker. Player two's name is Deuce Fleming, because Deuce means two, if I'm not mistaken. And then now the last player, the only thing I had in mind when creating the last player was try to get as close to 99 as possible. So the first play, I was like, oh, this seems like a cool player to play with. But no, my goal is to legitimately make a 99 overall player. So I'm taking one dollar Tyrese Halliburton because no matter what your frame, don't really matter when creating a 99. Seth Curry's the greatest shooter of all time, give me that. Kawhi Leonard is one of the greatest defenders of all time, give me that. And a low key player that I, I just realized, very low key when it comes to his playmaking, Kyle Lowry has like almost every playmaking badge. Most of them are bronze and silvers, but still really good playmaking statistics and attributes. And then lastly, I gave him Tyrese Maxey's finishing. He can finish at the rim, he's super fast and all of that stuff. So player number three, name is Trinity, because Trinity means three on a group of three. I'm, I'm thinking about the Blade series, really. Um, so those are my three players. Tell me how I did. Let me know what type of player you would create and how good you actually made them. Let's go put them into the draft class and get the simulator. The first, second, and third overall pick teams are going to be Bucks, Pacers, Timberwolves, Fantasy Draft, by the way. Fantasy Draft, by the way. Bucks, Pacers, Timberwolves. Let's see who goes one, two, and three. Remember, we got Primo, Deuce, and Trinity. Those are our three people. And yeah, keep that in mind. First overall pick, Milwaukee Bucks. Select Deuce, 6'5", out of Texas, 185, which is Tyrese Halliburton's build, mode. Next, second overall pick. Indiana selects Trinity Moore. That is a guy that I tried to create to be a perfect 99 overall. Spoiler alert, we failed. I don't know if it really is possible to create a 99 with this. Maybe there's another construction of players to get it a 99. But that was the best I could do, and he wasn't 99. And then lastly, we got Air Primo 6'6", 220 at a Duke. All right, but which one is the highest overall? It's Deuce. 57 badges, 53 badges, 53 badges. Deuce is really that man, and he is going to play with the Bucks, the Pacers, and the Timberwolves. Now, we got to figure out who on what team, because, again, fantasy drive, anything is really possible. Deuce is playing with LaMelo. Let me double-check here, but I think Deuce... No, Deuce had DeJounte Murray's playmaking. Okay, I thought Deuce was LaMelo's, like, counterpart when it comes to playmaking, but no... I mean, LaMelo got A+, plus, he got A. That's the difference right there. But he's playing with him, Jared Allen, Michael Porter Jr., and Bones High. They got a lot of point guards up top. Trinity is playing with Rudy Gobert and Jordan Poole. Yeah, I understand why this team ended up with a top pick, bro. This team sucks. It seems bad. Hey, but he's got 53 badges, and he's got the keys. Jordan Poole can move over to the two, or he can. He's 6'5". And then Ed Primos with DeMar DeRozan and Tyrese Maxey. Nope. I thought, I thought, nope, he didn't, he don't have uh, Tyrese Maxey finishing. All three of these teams are bunts, which makes sense. They were the one, two, and three overall pick. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to have superstar players on them, but uh, they got superstar players on them right now. All right, they all got the right tendencies and everything. So I'm curious to see who's going to win rookie of the year. That'll let you know who has the, who is the best of them all, right? The first week of the season, rookie report, Primo's only averaging 19 points. Primo, because he's, DeMar DeRozan don't want to pass him the ball or something. 26 over there for Trinity. And Trinity is Steph Curry and Tyrese Maxey offense with the assisting of Kyle Lowry. He's kind of winning on every single front through the first week. He's also got the three and a half steals, which is Kawhi Leonard. These two people have Kawhi Leonard. This is our guy with Jose Alvarado. So, <laughs> you know, Jose Alvarado will still give you one steal a game, but not the three and a half or three that you're getting from Kawhi. I think I'm going like five years of their careers to start off with. See if we can get some MVPs, some championships. See if they can meet each other in the playoffs. Pacers, Bucks can see each other, but they'd have to go to the championship to see the uh, the Timberwolves for the other guy. Also, I might be hiring somebody new. Listen, it took me two and a half hours to create these three people. I don't have time for that normally. So if, if you want to potentially get a, a, a job, let a brother know why I send you a... Go get the shooting of Steph Curry, Kawhi Leonard's defense, and boom, boom, boom. You take how much time it is, and then you send me the save file so I can come in and, and get to work. Because, bro, it took me way too long. And I know there's people out there that there's definitely would love to work for the KOT4QLLC. I mean, come help me create these rosters when I need them to. Because, yeah, th that was time I could have spent with my daughter. You know what I'm saying? So hit a brother up. I don't know. I, I was going to say send me resumes, but don't do that. What is your resume going to say? I worked at here. Here's why I'm qualified to make 2K rosters. 
I don't, I don't really know. I'm like 87% serious, by the way. I, I'm, I'm definitely gonna try to find somebody that can do it. Cause we do videos like this all the time. And yeah, if I can, you know, pay somebody to do it, it'll be better. Ed Primo comes in at 28 and a half, eight assists, three and a half rebounds. He got 2.4 steals. And then you got Trinity probably was second in the running. And then Deuce was third, even though Deuce is the highest overall player, but maybe he's playing with somebody that's a little bit better. We are gonna see. I forget what the teams look like already. Trinity ended up 25, five and a half and about eight and a half. And then we got 22, four and a half. I'm actually surprised that the rebound numbers are as high as they are. Five and a half, four and a half, and then three and a half. Wow, that's very weird. But they, they're here. Three point attempts per game, you got seven and then six and a half. Good shooting splits all around. Did any of them make the playoffs? Will any of them beat Giannis and win a defensive player of the year? Because they got all the tools with Kawhi Leonard's defense to do it. It's just a matter of will they be able to do it. And it's all NBA first team, so he won rookie of the year but he was in the running at the bare minimum for MVP as an NBA first team player. And then Trinity's on the second team. They better have made the playoffs, all three of them. Oh no, two of the three of them all defensive first team. And then the other guy, wait, wait. So Deuce and Trinity made it, but the guy with Jose Alvarado's defense didn't because Kawhi Kawhi, you gotta think about Kawhi Kawhi and then Jose Alvarado. You know, I don't, I don't think he compares to these four guards. I don't think he compares. But all three of them, of course, are all rookie teams because why the heck wouldn't they be and we get the Timberwolves are in the playoffs and the Pacers and the Bucks. All three of them made it. One seed, two seeds, bro. They are really goaded. I should just real life just take over them. What am I doing? Why am I not taking over these teams? Everything's all automatic, by the way. So if you want to trade Mr. Deuce or Trinity or Primo, you, you can. So let's see how this going to go. Playing games are done. Primo, Maxi, DeRozan, Garland, and Vucevic ended up being that starting lineup. Okay. Because I didn't really, I kind of looked at them during the off season they really get them time to like sign players and things like that we got trinity levine see they signed zach levine i didn't know that so trinity levine hami kmar jr and then go bear that makes sense it seems good look at why is his wingspan so long almost down to his knees what the heck okay so that's the pacers that was the two seated pacers and now when we look at this bucks team let's see what they got over here it's Deuce Lamello, Michael Porter Jr., Jared Allen. Yes, that's a good team now. What the heck? All of these teams went from missing the playoffs completely, being some of the worst teams in the league, to, hey, win the playoffs. And not only win the playoffs, two of the three of them are the higher seed in their series. I don't think whoever over there in Minnesota is is going to get out of that round, and he did not. Let me see this box score. What did you average your first playoff run, Mr. Ed Primo? He averaged a whopping 30 points per game. Seven and a half assists, about five rebounds. I mean, he did with his part. Man shot 52% from three. What else you on 30 points per game? What what more do you want from him? Okay, so but we got a 2-2 series up here. Do not go game seven in the first round. They don't. I want to see these dudes go against each other. If we could get them in the playoffs in the first year, come on, you got to win these games. Three, both of them just need one game, and they both get it, and yes, we got these boys going against each other. They're going to be guarding each other. And guess what? We got to hop into a game. We got to hop at least into one game. I'm simcasting every single game this series until we get a close one so we can jump in and see these boys guard each other because we're going to see who's going to be the best. They're, one of these boys is representing their conference in the finals. Three-point game with two minutes to go. That's something I'll jump into. Yes! Beautiful. 24, 6, and 6 with three steals. And then Trinity has 36, 9, 3, and 3. So they're both having really good games. But hey, the Pacers guy is having the better game, but it don't matter if the Bucks win. Fleming gives it back up to LaMelo, and LaMelo takes a heavily contested over Jordan Poole. That's a terrible possession. It, it must have been one second on the clock or something, because there's no way you take that shot. Hamadou Diallo goes right to the rim, and he gets fouled by Marvin Bagley the third. All right, can, can we see the ball? They took him out the game. What the heck? You took out your best player? You deserve to lose. You deserve to lose. You, I hope you blow this lead. I hope you blow this lead. For Bones? I rock with Bones. He actually got a song that came out that was actually pretty fire. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, shout out to Bones, but he ain't got no Look at this. Oh, my God. <clears throat> <clears throat> There's a reason Bones in the game. My apologies. I will never slander Bones' name ever again. My apology, Mr. Bones. Don't turn me into that. You feel me? All right. So, wait. Did both of them come out? They're both out of the game right now. Who is... Oh, the both of these coaches just... just They made a collective effort. They called each other at the hotel... And said, we're going to sell each other's chances. Actually, we're going to be on even playing ground by, by getting rid of our two all-NBA players. Don't let them play the last two minutes of the game. Rudy Gobert with a free throw, 0%. He damn near airballed. I don't know what his problem is. Jordan Poole and Zach Levine. Is that Doug McDermott or is that my guy? No, who the heck is that? Is that TJ Leaf? 
That's Luca. Gar Luca Garza is getting last two minute minutes over the first all NBA first team creative dude who's a demigod. Yeah. Oh, oh, I don't know why I jumped into these games. I I always jump in and then I'm surprised when 2K sells the bag. Every time I'm disappointed in 2K. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not here for this. Also, oh, they went to overtime. Somebody hit like a game winning shot. It didn't matter to me. It didn't matter to me. My boys wasn't even playing. I mean, 43, 11, and four is pretty good stat line. But it didn't matter. I'm not jumping in no more. We lost those because they don't want to have our guys actually play the minutes they deserve. Game two is a win for Milwaukee as well. Uh, Mr. Trinity, you need to wake up, my boy, because uh, you're you're losing heavily. You're not going to get swept, though, but you do lose, and you're going against the Warriors as a seven seed from playing to championship, potentially. And that's that's Luka. Luka's going to be clamped up, though, because you know who's on the other team is Dukes. Game one. Oh. Well, I'm, uh, Luka made it to the free throw line 14 times. I was going to say I count that as clamping up, but if you get into the free throw line that many times, you're not really getting clamped. I count this as clamping up. Eight turnovers. for He had more turnovers than assists, and he also had five fouls. That's what happened you going against Deuce Fleming. That's what happened you going against Deuce Fleming. Okay, in game number three, you had a better game, but it didn't matter because the team lost. And just like that, Deuce Fleming gets the first championship. In the finals, in five games, he only averaged 19 and about nine and a half assists, but two steals played amazing defense on Luka. That's the Iggy Award. <laughs> That's the Iggy Award right there. Are we going to go to player progression? I'm guessing that all three of them is going to get better because why wouldn't they? Up by two, up by one. Oh, I mean, all, all right. And then up by two as well. 60 badges, 57 badges, 61 badges. This team is going to repeat. They, it was Jalen Suggs here last year? He was. He was coming off the bench. This team is probably going to repeat, bro. They're, they're too nice. They're young. They got everything you want. This team's got aging Chicago Bulls players. And then this team... Got another Chicago Bulls player, but they're just, I don't just think, I don't think they're ready. I just don't think they're ready. That's all. Will we get an MVP from one of our three guys? MVPs? What, what's, what is that? What, why are we creating the perfect player when Luka exists? Nobody's beating this, the statistics of Luka Doncic. It's just that simple. No defense player of the years. Do we at least get all NBA, no all NBA first team? Oh, my boys. Okay, second team for Mr. Primo. His numbers are down slightly when it comes to points per game, but everything else is about the same. Second team. Oh, second team is Primo. The third. We created these guys that were supposed to be the. You dropped down to 20 points per game, Mr. 98 overall. Did y'all sign like a superstar player or something? Did Milwaukee sign somebody that's great? I mean, they're both the one, two seeds again. No, it's the same. It's just the same team. They're just, you know, passing the ball better. John Wall is on the team. So that took extra 10 points off the board, I guess. I, I don't know, man. Shot tendencies are all the same. They just ain't hooping. They just not hooping. They don't want these awards. You like Zach Levine score more than you, Trinity? Zach Levine score more than you? Everybody's actually in the same position they were last round. One seed, two seed, six seed. Everything is the same from us. Will we see the same results? Probably. That's what it's looking like, at least. Because that six seed over there got eliminated. Nope. Nope. One seed gets eliminated as well. I'm disappointed in you, bro. I'm, this this is not what we built you for. Hold on. Let me just double check. Let me double check what Deuce was. Halliburton, Hero, Morant, Kawhi, Murray. 13.8 points per game in the playoff versus the 8th seed. You shot 41%, 30% from three. I'm, I'm disappointed in you. I thought y'all were about to go ahead and repeat. You get eliminated in the first round. You too, LaMelo. You, about to, you won't get no cut slack just because we didn't create you. You were 96 as well. I mean, he did his part. Never mind, LaMelo. You didn't do good in that last game, but you did your part for the most part. All right, so it's up to Indy. Indy's our last team with one of our players. Oops. Indy, make, make it a real deal. Okay. We're in the finals. Beautiful. It went seven versus a six seed, but Trinity in that game seven decided to turn up. All right, in the finals, we got Pelicans who have Tyrese. Trinity and Tyrese are related because they're the same mode of player when they're shapes and stuff. This team is amazing. Jokic, Porzingis, Halliburton Green and Chris Dorte. So they got four players that are hovering around 90 overall. That's insane. Uh, they were the the one seed this year. Game one, the Pacers win though. Chris Dorte, what a stat line. 2,600,000 stat line. No, nothing else. Wait, comma goes right here. The comma goes, yeah, 2,600,000 stat line. That's when you, you only score and you do nothing else. And that's what he did. He also fouled out. So I can't say he didn't do nothing else. He fouled the hell of a lot. But they end up losing this game one because Trinity, yeah, 25, 8, and 5. He had five turnovers too, but he's very efficient. Very, very efficient. Shout out to Zach Levine and Jordan Poole because, whoa, both of them ended up at 30. Game two, Pacers win. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, who gonna have triple double for Trinity? 3-0. They win. And Trinity averages 27, 10, and 7 with almost three steals. That's that line is better than last year's finals MVP. That's a duck. So so far, Trinity and Deuce. Was it Deuce Fleming that played for the Bucks? I'm getting them all mixed up already. I think it's Deuce Fleming that plays for the Bucks. Both of them have a championship. Both of them have finals MVPs. The guy over there in Minnesota, he needs some help over there, man. He needs some help. He's getting worse. Free bro. <laughs> Free bro. That's all I can say. Free bro, because because there's no way he should be 20 years old and be getting worse. No, there's no world where that's, that should be a thing. We have an MVP, Trinity Moore. The guy that we created to be the perfect 99. It's not that, but he did put up 29, eight and a half and six assists per with two and a half steals, 50, 40, 97. He was amazing this season. In a defensive player of the year, yes. This is why we created you. That is why we created you. Now, can you, can you get a championship on top of that? Another one. You'll be the greatest of all time. Well, not the all time, but you'll be the greatest of the simulation. De'Aaron Fox had better season than our other two players. What would you average? Oh, yeah, okay. That, that, makes, that makes sense. Defensive team, there's Trinity, of course. And then you got Deuce, who, again, 50, 40, 90, again, that's great. But, like, you know, eh. What, what's the playoffs like? First seed, second seed, not in it. <laughs> what the heck? Free him, bro. What do you average? 24. Isaac Coro's upset. Jared Vanderbilt is upset. This team sucks. Go get the first overall pick, please. Go draft somebody elite. They had 21, and this guy's not elite, but he, he looked like he might be eyed eventually. All right, it is time to potentially get a, a rematch of the playoffs. Meet each other in the conference finals again. We'll see if we can jump in. And, yep, there we go. Beautiful. We missed game one. That's fine. It, it wasn't that close anyway. We're here for game two, though. Game two is not close at all. Unless it's not close at all. Okay, game two's not close. It's 2-0 lead. All right. My my MVP is not about to get swept, is he? My MVP is not gonna get swept, is he? I think he might. Yep. Hey, you hey, you got you you better fight. You better fight. Cause right now you ain't gave us a single game that's worth talking about yet. 10-point game with three minutes to go. Dang. Down goes MVP. And uh you know, he gave it his all. He just didn't have the help he thought he did. Luca Garza off the bench was going crazy. Final second one for the Bucks. It is Deuce versus Tyrese. Again, Jokic is still here. Jalen is still there. Who is their power forward? They had a 90 overall power forward. And he's gone now. It's now Patrick Williams. I don't know. Who the, oh, it was Porzingis. It was Porzingis. Porzingis is gone. And they beat this team last time with Porzingis there. And now it's Patrick Williams. So I'm assuming the outcome is about to be almost the same. Maybe the same. We're about to see. Be close. Yeah, be close. We want we want to see another game we can jump into where they lost. Uh, Jokic won MVP. Uh, Mr. Fleming. I can't say you had a bad game, man. He shot 50% from the field, gave him 29-7-3. Who is the disappointment? Whoever was guarding Chris Dorte. What the heck? Chris Dorte, he'd be teeing off against y'all. Porzingis is still on the team. He's just a, a six-man, I guess. Oh, they crazy. They real life crazy. I think that's what we call it, ladies and gentlemen. It was cool, but I'm still disappointed in some of the things we saw. We got a couple championships. We got we did get one MVP, and that's cool. Let me know the player that you create. I'll be in that comment section. I'll need you to tune in tomorrow around the same time because there will be another video. I'll see y'all then. Peace.